It's time to acknowledge, treat, train and fuel women as the physiological beings that we are. So let's cycle think our life to live in our natural biology, live in tune with our monthly rhythm and step naturally into our feminine energy. Hello, 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 lovely humans. Welcome back to Heal Rush Shine here on YouTube. This is part of my little series of cycle thinking your life to live your absolute best self-love feminine lifestyle. <laughs> this video will be split into two parts. In this video, part one, we're going to discuss the first half of your cycle, the follicular phase and the ovulatory phase. And in the second video, part two, we are discussing the luteal phase and the menstrual phase. And you can always review and skip to the parts that are most important to you. When it comes to understanding your food cycle, you just have to think about the four seasons. What naturally grows during the four seasons, what naturally you would eat during the four seasons back in the days, you know, before we had access to everything all the time from all, of, all over the world. <laughs> but these four seasons give you a wonderful orientation on what to eat throughout your cycle. And I'm going to reference back to them to give you a greater understanding. You may want to ask now, but Anna, come on, I don't want to think about my food and cycle thinking and what benefits does that give me anyway? Well, I'm going to tell you. Your micronutrient needs are different throughout your cycle and that has a lot to do with the activity of your ovaries and uterus. For women, they influence our energy throughout the cycle. It also gives you the foundation to optimize your biology as a woman. It will help you with your period problems, very important, and it helps you to balance and increase your energy levels throughout your cycle. So you're optimal, prepared for your best life and most successful life. Different foods support estrogen levels, support progesterone production, and stabilize blood sugar levels. And for all my lovely women out there struggling with eating disorders, this will help you to give your body the nutrition it needs, and it can help you in the process of intuitive eating and getting rid of your eating disorder. So I highly advise you to give this a try. And as always, here's the disclaimer, I'm no doctor, I did not study that stuff. I did though read a lot about the things. I will reference a lot from Elisa Vitti's book again, so go ahead, buy it and read it for way, 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 way more detailed information than I will give you throughout a single YouTube video. But I want to give you an overview into the most crucial information I think every woman should have. That's why I did the research and I'm going to give it to you split up into our different phases. Let's start with follicular phase, our spring season. During your spring season, what do we associate? Fresh and vibrant and light foods to support your energy everything is awakening slowly, right? Remember that? So you need foods that support your detoxification and help with your liver functions. You should focus more on plant-based compounds that mirror your estrogen because your estrogen in the beginning of your follicular is very low, right? But it needs support to get up and rise during <laughs> towards your ovulation phase. So focusing on food with mimicking your estrogen levels will help you in that process. But of course, if you have too high estrogen levels already, you know what to do, so I do not need to mention that. So what kind of foods are we talking about? We are talking about pressed salads, so probiotics, kimchi, sauerkraut, all of that stuff. Also, you can think about supplementing with probiotics to really get your gut health going. You want to think about spring wedges, like zucchini and carrots, and lean proteins like chicken and trout, and sprouted beans and seeds, and grains like oats, for example. And if you consume all of these good foods, this will set your microbiome up 
for your ovulation phase. Also remember that because your body is awakening, right? You do not need as much energy during your follicular phase. So you do not need to consume as much calories throughout that phase. Also think about like sauteing your food, like make it light, make it support your energy and help your body to wake up and come out of the resting phase you were in before. So when it comes to your workout, you will want to do the same. So we're talking energy supportive sports that support your cardiovascular activities to more like running and dancing. But also think about, we discussed this in the last video when we talked about energies, you're more open you're more open to new things. So just try out new sports, new cardiovascular, go to a new dance class, do you get the draw, right? So all of that is perfect during your follicular phase. And then we step into the holy goddess ovulatory phase. That's our summer season. It's our glowing season. During your ovulation, your natural body temperature is at its highest. If you track your temperature, then you know that during that time, your body temperature is always higher when compared to your menstrual phase, it's at its lowest. To support or cool down the body a little bit, you want to think about all the raw foods a lot of vegetable, a lot of fruits, and you can eat like a lot of salads, for example, to just cool your body off a little bit. You also want to think about foods that are high in fiber to balance out the spike in estrogen you have right now, because a spike in estrogen can also cause acne and all of that stuff. If you if you experience that during ovulation, that is your spike in estrogen. You really do not need a lot of carbohydrates during that phase. It is better to work with lighter grains like quinoa, for example, and that also supplements great with the salad, right? If you consume antioxidants during that time, that is also very great for balancing out your estrogen levels and to provide vascular su support. When it comes to your workouts, you want to think about that you have really, really high energy during your, your ovulation phase, right? So you can do all your high intensity workouts, do all the HIIT training in the world, power out yourself, give it your all energy, just give it a go, 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 go. You can also do some group classes just to support your outgoing energy and because you want to interact with a lot of people during that time, that is a great way to do that. So next time for your ovulatory phase, sign up for your hit class. Thank you so much for watching. This was part one of our two part series. So as soon as it is out, I will link it here. So you can go directly to part two to learn everything about your luteal phase and your menstrual phase. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. I try to answer them my best, but also do your own research. It's also very important. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in part two.